we all know how to adjust our protein skimmers. Protein skimmers collect all the nasty stuff from the water. It gets all bubbled up. The water gets brought into the base of the protein skimmer through the pump. Bubbles up the water, oxygenates the water. All those white bubbles in there. Bubbles burst. And all the nasty stuff like uneaten food and fish waste pops off the bubbles, the micro bubbles, and you're left with the skim mate, which has to be dumped out. I dump mine out every few days. The average water line in a sump is about eight inches. If that water line gets to be too high, see I marked it with marker, what's ideal for me when I had another skimmer. This water level is perfect. You can adjust your skimmer, of course, with your adjustment settings. This allows how much air gets in there. The more air, the higher this goes up, and that's gonna overflow, and that's not gonna be good. Ask me how many times that's happened to me where this waste overflowed and dumped back into the uh, sump. Then it goes right back into the aquarium. It gets pumped right back in. I've got a piece of drainage PVC, like what goes in the bottom of your, of your shower in your bathroom, and it's balancing on that. Simple DIY fixes it great. But there were a couple times where it's only three inches wide. And as you can see, it's balancing on the heaviest part, center of gravity, the motor. I don't like it, because this can be kind of wobbly. Okay, good, it didn't spill. I always do DIY stuff, but let me just get something, because I don't want to risk this spilling so I broke down and I bought a protein skimmer stand and I think it was only like $45. Okay, so this is a skimmer stand by Ice Cap. They had a small that's seven inches by six inches, but I got the medium that's nine by seven. And they have a large that's 11 by 19. That's pretty cool looking. Almost don't want to put it in the sun, but I just want to keep it out and look at it. That's really sharp looking, man. Wow. It's made well too, it's solid. I wish I had something to machine stuff like this. It's adjustable. What I have now is only like this tall. Really happy with it. I really like ice cap products, but if I get another sump, I've been looking at the ice cap sumps. They're not that expensive. I mean, they're still pricey, but they're just what I would need. So anyway, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put this in there now, then I'll show you guys. One thing that you have to do is empty out your collection cup. <clears throat> and one thing I really like about this newer S200 eShops skimmer is it's got a tube connecting to the base of the collection cup so I can just drain it. I'm sure other protein skimmers have this. I've never had this before. I really like it. If you get something like this, make sure you zip tie where the tube connects to the outlet pipe or else you're gonna be draining it, and then this is gonna fall off, and it's all gonna drain into your sump. There's something satisfying about this, I don't know. All that nastiness. And then you dump it into the neighbor's yard. It's amazing how the house reeks of highly concentrated rotten eggs after you briefly drain or <laughs> empty that collection cup. It is nasty. And those of you who have protein skimmer, no. Oh, that reeks. See, this is what I was using. The height difference, an extra inch. And to be fine, I'll just tune the skimmer. Yes, much nicer. That's much better. Man, it smells like rotten eggs in here. It's nasty. This is gonna be good because I'll have more control of my protein skimmer settings because when it was lower in the water, I had the protein skimmer set all the way to almost zero and it was getting right into the cup. Now, because it sits higher, I need to raise the adjustments. So let's do that now. Let's allow more water into the cone can never remember which way it is. I think it's this way. 
And this is what's really going to do it. We're going to add more air. Look at that. Boom! Okay, let's tailor that guy down. I like this better too because now because the skimmer sits higher, I'm not looking down into the sump to see where the level of the water bubbles are. It's almost even with the top of the sump so I can see things better now, which I like. All right, so now that the water's calmed down, I've got no air entering this. I'm gonna add just a little bit. I want it to stop right around the neck area. It looks just about perfect. I'm gonna lower it a bit because don't, you don't want it to overflow because if you introduce something into the aquarium and it starts skimming it out like crazy, this is gonna go crazy and overflow. All right, so back down a little bit. Once you get it adjusted, of course, it's always very important to revisit it after an hour to see if it's still at the same level. That's good. So now it's dancing right around the neck. It dips below a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but it's dipping below the, it's below the neck now. But I'm gonna leave it here. Ideally, you want it to be mostly in the neck so it pushes all that foam and nasty stuff into the cup. I don't want it to be dancing around up here because then if it goes crazy, it's certainly gonna overflow. That looks really good to me. Okay, so I'll leave it here an hour. There you go. There's the stand. That's why you need a stand, or maybe you don't. But I'm so glad I got one because now I have full control over my skimmer, whereas before it was sitting so low in the sump that I had to keep my skimmer settings all the way dialed down to zero. And don't forget, I didn't even adjust the skimmer stand. This thing could raise up another two to three inches, it looked like. Look at that, it's pulling out really good. Really good skim mate. Very happy with the purchase. I should have, I've been looking at a skimmer stand and I just never did it. I'm like, yeah, it's good enough. Alright guys, thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Happy reefing!